So today we're going to do a review of my Gucci Marmont small camera crossbody bag. This is in the new pastel pink from um, the pre-fall collection. So yeah, we're going to go straight into the bag and what fits. First of all, I have this little um, pink poof poof poof. Poof, poof charm, poof charm. So I just kind of put it on here because it's literally the perfect like pink shade and I thought it was super, super cute. So the bag just looks like this. It is a camera style bag and um, this is kind of more of the, like I want to say it's like a small medium type of size bag. Um, it fits a lot, like this bag fits a lot. I want to say that it's probably comparable to the Gucci Soho Disco, although I don't own that bag. I have tried I have tried the bag out um, and I think that it fits a, almost about the same amount of stuff so the hardware on all of the pastel lines for pre-fall is the silver the really shiny silver hardware so it's just like the super mini if you guys saw that video it's the same exact type of hardware I think a couple of youtubers have mentioned that there is a a little bit of rusting like a, a rusty effect but it has like this little bit of a rustedness in the in between or yeah in between like the gg lock yeah it does have like the chain detailing and then it comes with the leather strap it is adjustable um so there are one two three four five holes i have it on the second to last for reference i am five seven and um, I'm a little bit busty, so this I feel like this bag hits me right above, like right on my hip, um, with the second to last. So I'm sure the last hole, if I put it to the last, it will hit me like right on the hip. The bag straps always matter based on your petiteness or your frame rather, and your height and also your bustiness. I mean, so it's just it really it's hard for me to like. I think for anyone to really gauge based on the person who is like talking about the video um, because the bags like are going to hit differently for your different body type. So the back of the bag is just the Gucci, the, the GG um, interlocking G's. The sides look like this. You cannot detach the chains. They're on the back. They're just stuck on the back. It does have a little leather pull. You pull it like so. And the inside is microfiber, not suede, although it does feel like suede. It's really nice. It's actually very, very soft and very um, clean. I try not to put anything like pens or anything or like eyeliners outside raw because I know that they can really mess up the interior, especially when the interior is soft like this. And it just has the the uh, Gucci tab here and then underneath it is a serial number and a little pocket here um so that's it it's just one big compartment and we're gonna see what goes inside I like to see very like various different things that can fit in the bag because you know um, everybody packs a little differently for me I actually pack very very light no matter where I go I am a small bags girl I don't really own any big bags at all like i just don't own big bags all my bags are either smalls or minis or they're like backpack ver styles um i just don't carry a lot and i don't like to carry a lot and the only time i do carry a lot is if i'm like going on a trip um and even then i try not to like carry too much so first things first um i have mentioned this in my previous videos but i always have two phones with me unfortunately um it's just I have to have a work phone and a personal phone separate because there's no way I'm going to be on emails and slack all hours of the day on my personal phone. I will literally lose my sanity. I just wanted to show this because I feel like there are no videos that show like a double phone usage because maybe most people don't do that. Um, but just um, for my business gals out there, yeah, I will show you guys how I actually carry the bag. So I have both my phones in here. Boom. The next thing I have with me is my Louis Vuitton Pichet Matisse. I just got this and it's like the love of my life. Next I have my wallet. Um, I just have here a um, Louis Vuitton wallet. This is um, a multicolor wallet from the early 2000s. It's not 
it's not very small. Like, I mean, it's just, it's not like it's, the newer Louis Vuitton wallets are a lot smaller for, for the small version, but you know, whatever. I usually carry a small wallet. Sometimes I'll carry a big wallet, but it's kind of rare. I also have this little card holder. This is just like my everyday for every reason card holder. It's just from Herschel. Um, and this is where I carry my ID and my debit, my main debit card. Um, so I'll put that in there. I just like having both with me, a wallet and my card holder. I actually put this one in the pocket because this this is small. Next thing I'll have with me is my AirPods. I have my AirPods with me everywhere I go religiously. You just never know when you want to go for a little walk, right? So I have that. Um, so next thing I have a variety of things just because these are loose items. And like I said, I don't like having any loose items just out there because I don't want the bag to get stained. Okay, so I have my Pichette Matisse with me and this is where I like to carry my loose items. And so the number one thing right now is hand sanitizer and that fits fine. I have a compact here. So usually I don't carry a compact if I'm like going for like a short trip. That's like a couple hours or something. But if it's like a day trip or something, I will have my compact in here. I have my tried and true um, buxom lip balm. That's supposed to like plump your lips. I mean, I don't know if it actually plumps, but it does tingle it. So I don't know. I love this thing. So I have this in here too. And I have one more lippy. Um, this is just like a tinted lip balm. This is my favorite, favorite thing. I don't, I'm not a lipstick gal. I don't really like lipstick. I'm very... I'm very particular about things. <laughs> Everything does fit. So I do use the Pochette Matisse as um, kind of a catch-all for my loose items. Okay, so um, as you'll see, and as, as I'll show you, it's pretty stuffed right now. Again, this isn't the biggest bag. It is quite small still, even though it does fit a lot. I mean, I think that all of that is a lot of stuff. I have two phones in there. A chunky wallet and um, the Pusha Matisse stuff. So it is pretty stuffed right now. I can fit a couple things on the top. You can put some sunglasses up there. Um, so I have these Gucci sunglasses and you can put them up here. If you just have like a key fob or something, you can throw your keys in there. However, I don't stuff it this crazy. So it does close up all the way, but as you see, it's kind of misshapen and I do not like to misshape in my bags. I just, it's such a pet peeve. So I'll show you guys an alternative of what can fit. This might not be the best example because I just feel like the Pochette Matisse takes up a lot of space with that compact in it. So um, we'll take the compact out and let's see what else we can do. So I'm gonna actually put my AirPods in here like that. Here I have rearranged it a bit and there. So I have my, my sanitizer, my um, lip tint, and you can fit a, a lot of other things in there that are, that are kind of small and narrow. If you do have like a thinner wallet, that fits perfectly fine. So wallet, push and Matisse, foam. And then I have my handy dandy lip balm. I'm gonna leave this one out because I kind of use it like religiously. So I have my passport holder here. Um, we'll throw that in there. So all of these are pretty narrow items, right? Passport, phone, wallet, um, and, and a small bag. So these all fit really, really well. And I have tons of space. Let's say if you want to carry a, a hand, hand lotion. I don't really carry a hand lotion ever, but that would fit in there like, like so. Um, I also have this sunscreen. So sunscreen fits just fine. Sun sunnies fits just fine. I have the little baggie with me. Hate this color. I don't know why they use this color. And then last but not least, you can throw your keys in there. We're gonna zip her up. And she's stuffed, but not too too stuffed. And that's kind of how I like it.
this is a lot more stuff than I would typically bring with me if I'm using this bag. I'm probably like out shopping or something. Um, well, nowadays, I don't know. I mean, I don't really use this bag at all these days. Just I haven't been really using this bag much because there's nowhere to go. So just in case you guys are curious, I'm going to show you guys my little key detail here. So I have my keys like this on a, like a little leatherette thing. Show you guys this because I'm bound someone's bound to ask me so this little thing here is my alternative to like a key key clay or a key holder and again I need something that is in the color wheel of my aesthetic so I found this little uh, pouch thingy um, I, I think it's like a coin purse from coach and oh my god it's so but anyway, so this is my little key holder. You can't um, you can use it as like a coin purse thingy, but I like to use it as a key holder with my obnoxious keys. Ta-da! I just wanted to show you guys real quick because I'm obsessed with her. So I have my keys here. Um, again, this bag is just kind of fairly new. I've only had it for about two months or a month and a half. I mean, it's a shame because we can't really go out a lot, but I just love, I just had to pick up this pastel pink. Like, there was no way I was not going to pick up this pastel pink. Last but not least, for all of you Animal Crossing addicts out there, if you do have a Nintendo Switch, as I do, I will show you and be happy to tell you that it fits just fine. It actually fits, like, absolutely, like, all, like, lengthwise, it fits perfectly. Um, so this is the switch light by the way. Sorry, I should mention it's, it's the switch light I don't think the normal switch will fit in here. I have the big switch and it definitely will fit in here So yeah, I mean if you have the switch light like I do it fits in here perfectly So again, I would take like a small wallet a phone Clip on Keys Like look fits all fine and remember the switch is in here Hopefully this is a good variety of things to show you guys what really fits in this bag. I I wanted it to be a little bit more thorough just because this video has been plastered all over YouTube because it is a very popular size bag, but I really wanted to show you guys just how um, beautiful this pastel pink is. And I think that it's an unpopular opinion, but silver hardware is like the only thing I really like in bags. I'm not a gold hardware gal. I don't have a lot of gold hardware bags. I, I actually dress very, very casually. Like I tend to dress like streetwear-ish most of the time. Um, That's just me. So a lot of my reviews will have good silver hardware. Sorry, I know that gold hardware is like everybody's favorite. But if you are looking for a, a really pretty silver hardware bag like moi, um, I would definitely check out the pastel line. Although I think Everything is sold out right now on the Gucci website as of today that I've checked. However, they are taking back orders and pre-orders for um, their restock in July, I believe. Yeah, July. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. If you want to see a review on any of the products that I use in this video, um, also leave a comment on those. I just, I don't know, sometimes I feel like, I don't know if anybody cares about, like, some of the reviews for other things um but i will definitely be happy to consider creating a video for whatever you guys find interesting um yeah and anyways hope you guys stay safe and yeah i'll catch you guys later bye